Hey everyone, Mark here tonight talking discovering your business and tonight I'm going to talk about nursing homes or assisted living facilities. I'm not sure what they call them. It seems like assisted living seems seems to be more of the apropos name that uh, we call them today. Okay, so we've personally done work in several of them uh, and what, we, what we're seeing now um, with these facilities is they're, they're getting a little fancier schmancier and if you're in this industry you want to make sure that you're competing um, there's some things you might want to do Sounds and we're going to talk about you know let's talk first actually about your entry you know when you come into the place um, what we're seeing it's where the um, establishment is more kind of set up like a hotel, kind of a high-end hotel. You see hospitals doing this too, uh, where you know they incorporate color and they incorporate textures and they incorporate nature and they incorporate lighting and glass and and all these things. It's not just a it's a place to go. It really is kind of an inviting area where you want to come and you want to bring your um, adult parent or yourself might be going there. Um, so let's make sure when we first, you know, we, we hit, the, hit the, the, uh, uh, the door, the sliding doors, the sliding double doors, which is in most places because obviously we need easy access in and out. Make sure we're making the floor you know, make a statement with color as we come into the in, into your establishment. Make something where it does draw attention to you working your way into the facility. You know, make sure that the waiting room and the reception area is inviting and invites the senses. You know, there again, a, a waterfall, uh, you've got some larger plants, uh, good lighting, maybe uh, you know more ceiling lighting. Um, also incorporate good upholstery, artwork, colors, textures. The more that you can invite from the individual coming into the place, because you don't know if they're there to, to look at your place, there to, to meet one of their friends or relatives, uh, or prospective clientele, or whatever. Uh, make it inviting, make it comfortable. We wanna make it, we wanna make it more like home and less, less than less like somebody else's home we want a comfortable inviting things that are you know you know that that you think about you know inv inviting smells you know uh i know it sounds kind of crazy but you know a, a long time ago i remember t listening to this person talk about real estate and when they sold real estate what they would do is they would bake an, an apple pie before they showed the house so it invited the senses of smell same thing here hey you got some fresh cookies you got the kitchen off here throw some throw some uh cinnamon cookies or uh, cinnamon raisin cookies over there and you, you just invite that smell heck you can just probably just throw some some cinnamon on a pan or in an oven and and let it cook and it'll smell great the point is is that the more sensories the the more senses that you invite uh i think the more success you will have so um make sure our chairs are are newly upholstered and fresh and there again they work within a theme of our textures and colors paint your walls make sure the establishment is clean the glass is clean these are things that will invite people wanting to show up there to either stay there or to come back there okay very very important and uh, make sure the the surfaces that you are putting up whether it's paint on the wall walls or wall covering great looking wall covering out there today 54 inch vinyl wall covering is fantastic it can take a beating and it does a great job a little bit pricier but uh, they do have some really beautiful textures and wovens that are out there that you can put in your place you'll be really happy with. Um, you know, guest rooms where, where the folks are staying, you know, obviously every situation is a little bit different than the next. Make sure, you know, because there are people that, that's, that live in these assisted living facilities and then people that visit. You want to make sure where the people that are visiting and are staying because they have places where they have rooms they can stay. Make sure those are, are freshly painted, clean linens. 
uh, carpets clean or whatever flooring. Everything is very tight. Kind of like when you go to a real nice hotel. You walk in, it smells good. Every, you know, the sheets are real. You know, everything's tight. You can't, you know, you got to pull them back to, to, to sleep on them because they're so tight. You know, so you want it fresh and you want it inviting. So color is important. Texture is important. I think artwork, artwork is huge. I think uh, putting art on walls really makes a difference. I don't know what it is about art that just to me, I think done well, uh, uh, they're again higher. Pro I think in this area, really higher professional that can c choose artwork, framing, lighting, etc. That can really help you design that and lay that out for you. Um, main areas, common areas, hallways. Always get f keep it freshly painted. Try to keep it to where it's in your theme because you're going to have things in there that you're going to have chair rail. Uh, you have to understand, in a lot of places, you're going to have wheelchairs. You're going to possibly have gurneys. Um, we worked in, I think it was a three or 400 uh, room facility a few years back. And you don't realize how much wear and tear on a building happens. We were there three months. It was a five-story building. We were there for three months. At the end of the three months, you could go to the top floor and spend a full day on just touch up and repair of just the common areas. And we, and actually, we literally did because when you got the project done, you wanted to show and present to the higher ups that that they own the property um, that everything was done a hundred percent. Well, you know, somebody runs a cart into the wall, you got to patch and fix the wall. Uh, they beat up the, you know, somebody runs their chair rail or runs a, uh, a wheelchair across the, 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 uh, the chair rail and scrapes that up. So it's really, it's, it's an ongoing task. It's like painting the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. I, you know, they always say, uh, you know, once you get done painting the Golden Gate Bridge, you basically start over and repaint it. That's kind of how this works out, obviously not to that, that scale. But uh, to be honest with you, yeah, when you get done, uh, depending upon the size of the facility, you're going to have somebody already beating up the walls. It's just, it is what it is. And, you know, carpet takes a beating, tile takes a beating. Anywhere s human hands or, or devices or machinery can touch will have, where it can engage another surface can beat it up. So make sure... You know, you're, you're taking care of the areas because all these, you know, these facilities now are, are like little communities amongst themselves. There's little restaurants. They have salt hair salons. They have areas. <laughs> in fact, the one place we had we worked at was the, the uh, folks were engaged in, uh, I think it was wee bowling. You know, so, you know, you want it inviting. It's almost like um, it's almost like they're reverting back to being kids that hang out with big couches and they're, you know, playing wee bowling and they have an area to, you know, like a media room. So um, these areas really need to have some attention paid to them. Make sure they're maintained and clean well. And there again, I always finish off with use products that are going to help you maintain your property for a longer period of time. You might spend a little bit more money in the material, but you'll probably get a, a much better looking material and a longer lasting material. So with that, on that note, hopefully we helped you out here. Thank you again for joining me. I'm Mark with Discover Your Business. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.